You may remember a year ago we did a wall tablet or building my perfect wall panel for Home Assistant, sort of how to control Home Assistant from a wall mounted tablet. Uh, and in that video, I built my own or designed my own smart home dashboard. And I've been using it since then, but I'm kind of getting a little bit bored of it uh, and sort of want to change things up. And then we also did a five smart home dashboard, sort of looking at some of the best mobile smart home dashboards that are out there currently. And you guys really loved that video. That was really popular. So I thought today we would do a tablet version and sort of give me some inspiration for building out um, my new wall panel or my new dashboard for my wall panel, as well as show some of the best tablet smart home dashboards I could find out there on the internet also. So a little bit of inspiration for me as well as for you, because a lot of you guys have been asking for a tablet version of that video. So let's have a look at some of the best tablet smart home dashboards there is. Before we jump in and look at all of the dashboards, I wanted to quickly take a look at my smart home dashboard that we currently have, just sort of as a reminder in case some of you haven't seen it. So this is what I currently have. You may remember I showed you it in the wall panel. It hasn't changed at all since we last looked at it. And um, so it looks a little bit like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. We have a welcome message up at the top um, and that kind of changes depending on the time of day and it diff does different emojis depending on the time of day also. And then underneath that is some room navigation. So we've got home, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, etc. And then in the sort of main panel down here, we have our controls as well as sensor information. So you'll see a graph as well as we've got climate controls and then our camera. And then over on the right hand side is sort of a information sort of information sidebar that has the weather as well as person and the sunrise and sunset. And if we click into sort of any of the rooms, so if we click into bathroom, it will change to the bathroom view and then that has all of the smart home controls and sensors that are in that room. So we can click into kitchen and we get the same thing. And you can sort of tap on these icons down at the bottom to uh, sort of control each thing that is in that room. So it works well. I'm just kind of, I like to change things up a little bit and sort of keep things fresh. I do actually like this, this layout. It does work well for what I use it for. Just could maybe do with a little bit of freshening up. So let's take a look at some of the best dashboards that I found on the internet. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay are a one-stop shop for all of your electronic project needs, including high-quality PCB printing services, just like this one for the upcoming Everything Presence 1, coming soon, CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication, and everything else you need to make your DIY projects become a reality. Check them out with the link in the video description. So the first one we're looking at is by Superlux on Reddit, and this is a HomeKit inspired dashboard. A lot of the popular designs that you'll find on the, or for Home Assistant or for tablet versions of Home Assistant are based on HomeKit. That is a really popular design. And I kind of kind of see why it's really clean, super simple to use, uh, and has all of the information you, you need and isn't cluttered with loads of extra things that you don't. The reason I like this one is the, I like the sidebar on the left hand side with the time and that is super clean. It also gives you a little bit of the, the weather forecast. I do like that information. And then he's got his Spotify down at the bottom left with the progress of how long that song is played. And then in the main panel on the right sort of two thirds, it has all of his devices. So he's got his Roborock, he's got his media player, lights, and then I guess this would be his sensors in the bottom right hand corner. So he's not doing anything with like room or organizing by room. He's actually organizing them based on the type of device. So lights, media players and sensors. This is really clean. The only thing I would personally change is I'd maybe have the date underneath the, the time on the left hand side. And then I'd make that sidebar just a little bit smaller so it didn't take up one third of the screen. And then I would also, underneath the weather, I'd perhaps have some navigation for room or for different type of devices and just have a little bit more expandability there. But this is a really nice dashboard, super clean. I like the colors and yeah, this one, this one works really well. I also like that you can easily see which devices are on based on their color. So these brighter ones are, are highlighted in white because the device is on. And then the ones in gray are sort of uh, grayed out or more opaque because they are not on. So really quick to identify which device is on and which is off. So yeah, really like that one. Great job by Superlux. This next one is by NDR91 on GitHub. 
And this is more of, this is a completely different one to the last one that we looked at. So this is sort of a floor plan layout. So basically he's taken a floor plan or drawn a floor plan of his house in 3D. So you can use one of the 3D programs. I think one of the more popular ones is called Sweet Home 3D perhaps. And basically he's uploaded this image onto his home assistant and then overlaid icons for his different devices over the top of the floor plan. And you'll see it's really cool that when he clicks on one of the lights, it'll actually light up the room in the floor plan. It looks really good. And sort of the, the, the image changes depending on which device is actually turned on. So really like that. And it's sort of really a good way to identify which devices are on and off really quickly. So, so the really cool thing about these floor plan designs is that you have all the lights actually laid out where they are located in your actual house. And then it's just a quick tap. So if you're walking up to a wall panel, it's just a quick tap on the different areas that you want to control without having to have long names and sort of find the exact light you want by navigating through all the different pages. Everything's just there. A quick tap, we'll turn them on. So yeah, really good job on that floor plan. That is really nice. And he's also got the temperature up at the top, which looks great. And as well as a sidebar on the left hand side. The only thing I would get rid of is I would get rid of the home assistant icons on the far left. You should be able to do that with a theme or something like one of the custom components that can do that. And then, yeah, but yeah, I really like this sidebar. He's got his time up at the top left hand corner as well as the date. And then he's got some navigation just underneath that. Uh, and this animated icon, so you'll see that there's an animated arrow just on the left hand side. I guess that reveals more navigation. So that would be like a sliding sort of thing. That's really cool. And then he's got his people, the or the home car, the people that are home just underneath that arrow as well as temperature and humidity graphs, it looks like. So yeah, that is a really clean dashboard. Has he got some more? And then he also, oh, so he actually, Oh, so he's got some more of his navigation here. So you'll see he's actually got a dashboard that has all of his lights and sensors, as well as all of the devices that he can control, as well as a media panel and a climate place. So yeah, that looks, that looks great. So that's a great way to sort of navigate around and sort of control all of your devices without cluttering up your main screen. Yeah, that looks really good. I love his, the different areas he's got and the different navigation, as well as that animated icon. So yeah, great job by, NDR91. This next one is also by NDR91 on GitHub as well as the Home Assistant form. So when I was looking at that floor plan one, I also noticed he had a regular sort of more traditional layout that you'll see here. So this is kind of the design I actually wanted for my original wall panel that we saw there. You'll see that over on the right hand side, he's got that sort of information sidebar and then he's got the main panel in the middle. So this is kind of what I base mine on, but I couldn't ever get it to look very clean. I didn't actually see this specific design, but this is kind of the thing I was going for. I didn't ever get it to, to look as good as this. This one looks really good, really clean. So yeah, I really like this one. I like the sidebar on the right that's kind of got static information that you might want to see from any of the screens. So if you navigate into a different room, you still might want to see the people that are home or the temperature or the forecast or the date and time, whatever it is. And so I like that static sort of information over here on the right hand side. He's got his people there. I don't think this is the case, but it would be cool if the images were like sort of color if the person is at home or black and white when they go away. I don't think he's done that here. At least this doesn't look like it. But yeah, that would be a really cool feature to implement. And then underneath that, he's also got what looks like scenes. So he looks like he's maybe got a night scene or um, a daytime scene, something like that. And then as well as he's got, it looks like blinds as well as a studio. Maybe that's studio blinds or curtains or something. And then he's got temperature on the bottom right hand section. And then it looks like on the left hand side, he's also got a, a really small sidebar that has different navigation. So it looks like maybe a server or like a lab type thing like I have in my house. And then he's got all of the main controls sort of in, in the middle section. And that gives you the most amount of space to have lots of devices and lots of sensors listed in there without the, the, the two sidebars taking up too much room. Again, the only thing I would change here is to get rid of that far left hand sidebar, again with a theme or something like that. But yeah, I really love this layout. I think it's really well done. Let's have a look at some of the other images. So there's a in light mode. Oh, and so he's also got his floor plan on this one also. So he's kind of combined both into this, into this one sort of layout. I really like that. That is actually super clean. Yeah, looks great. 
He's got his floor plan in the middle and then he's got those static um, sort of sidebars at the at each side. So yeah, that is a really nice dashboard. I wish I got mine to look as clean as this when I first started it. So yeah, great job. Okay, the next one is probably gonna be a little bit familiar. So you'll see that this is based on a minimalist design like we've covered in the past. That is how my mobile dashboard is. If some of you guys remember, you'll know that I use minimalist for my mobile design. I really like it. Super clean, super easy to sort of navigate around and I really like the design of it. Uh, not the easiest to work with, but once you get it going, it is really good. And this is by Gil, Gilganic, Giljanic, Gilyanic. Sorry, for, sorry for butchering your name. <laughs> totally sorry for butchering your name, but yeah, really clean design this one. I think this has perhaps taken some inspiration from my mobile dashboard that I did uh, last year. So I really like this one. He's got his navigation. So you'll see on the left hand side at the top, he's got his date and time and as well as sort of those five navigation cards on the top left hand corner here. So it looks like those are similar to my, my navigation cards that I have on my mobile dashboard. Underneath that, he's got the weather as well as some other navigation ones also. And then in the middle and the right hand side, so the main sort of section, he's got his room cards as well as some chips. So it looks like you click into these room cards and that'll give you the information for that particular room. Does that say horny? <laughs> <laughs> Homey. Oh, oh, maybe that's an M. <laughs> well, horny or homey, it's one of those. <laughs> You've destroyed my train of thought. Anyways, so yeah, I really like this one. He's got his room sort of based cards uh, and then you click into those rooms and you can get more information. Let's have a look at some of the other images. So yeah, you'll see that on these cards he's got those really nice looking graphs and you'll see he's actually implemented my pf sense card so this is a very similar layout to my pf sense or open sense card i did in my mo mobile dashboard so he's done a really good job of this well done for actually being able to implement that sort of design on this really good job i made this card but i never actually release it so you've done a really good job of actually figuring it out for yourself and yeah, really like that, that is super clean. I love these graphs. They are built into minimalist also. It looks like all of these are actually pop-ups. So it looks like you click on the room and then it brings up the pop-up because I can see the, the icons going on behind. So that's a really nice pop-up design, I really like that. And yeah, he's got his temperatures similar to what I did on my mobile dashboard, as well as all of the lights and the media controls on the right hand side. So that is super clean. I love what you've done with that. I love that you've taken the mobile design and sort of expanded it for um, the, the tablet sort of size. Um, I may do something like this. I may implement some of your ideas on my mobile dashboard. It would be nice to have both of mine on minimalist. So, you know, you know, my mobile dashboard is based on minimalist. It'd be really cool to have this as a tablet version and have everything sort of look the exact same for both mobile and tablet. So yeah, really well done. And it looks like he's done quite a bit of write up on how he's done this. So if you guys want to, to copy this and implement something similar, then have a look at this post on the Home Assistant form. We'll put all the links in the description if you guys want to take a look at any of these dashboards. This one, oh, this one's so cool. So this one is by Luke Vink on YouTube. And I think he's also got a GitHub if you want to check that out. This is a really cool video, so I'll play this. So you'll see that this is a floor plan based dashboard also. So he's got a, he's done his whole house up in 3D and then put it into Home Assistant. And he's also got that navigation on the left hand side. So you'll see that as he clicks each of the icons, you'll see the light turn on and change depending on which light is on. So a quick tap will turn on all the lights. But the, the unique thing about this dashboard that I haven't seen anyone else do is that the lights will actually change color depending on what color is actually set in the room. So he just changed that light to purple and the, the, the light on the, the dashboard will actually change to the exact color that the light is too. So that is a really cool feature. Yeah, I don't know how exactly he's done that, but it's 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 really impressive. And I really love that navigation on the left-hand side also. Yeah, and then this is a really cool thing. He's actually got his own navigation for his robot vacuum. So it looks like he's got a Roborock um, and he's built a sort of dashboard for the Roborock using the floor plan. 
So you'll see that he can like draw custom areas for the robot rock to go and vacuum. Like I don't know how he's done this, but it's it's really impressive. So yeah, he can he can sort of target it to go clean different areas from this from this floor plan, which is super impressive. Changing the speeds and the modes and everything. And then he's got a area that's got all of his lights and devices and sensors. You'll see that that is a HomeKit sort of inspired one also. So you'll see it is really popular for tablets is that HomeKit design. And again, I like that these icons are lit up when the device is on and then grayed out when they're off again. So yeah, really like that. So that is a nice sort of combination of both a floor plan as well as sort of having all your devices grouped as well. And then this is the, the the media media controls for this panel too. So he's got like, looks like he's got all of his different playlists on the on the right hand side. And then obviously the album art of what's playing over in the middle. So yeah, this is a really cool dashboard. Definitely recommend going checking this out. And I have no idea how he did all of this. It's just really impressive, but have a look at this one. This is a cool one by Luke Vink. This is his GitHub. He's got more pictures on here and sort of more GIFs. And then he's got a, it looks like a complete sort of guide or config on how to do this. He does mention that this is not a beginner dashboard, so proceed at your own peril. And then the final dashboard I wanted to show you is called Neon by Daniel Yarholt. Yarholt? Hopefully I got that right. <laughs> this is a much more colorful one than perhaps I would normally choose but it's actually super appealing to me. The reason that I really like this one is it's just got super clean font as well as icons and everything is just I, lo I love that sort of glass sort of look to everything so you'll see up at the on these four sort of icons it's got that sort of transparent glass type of look. I love how the information is displayed but it's not too much information it's kind of just the right amount like he's got his battery percentages uh, how many steps they've done for the day that's really cool and sort of the, the temperature over here, the light level for the house, and then he's got his media controls over on the right hand side. So not too much information, but it's got enough that you would use for the house. It looks like this is also maybe like a shopping list or something like that, or a to-do list maybe. Yeah, by AMC. So I'm guessing this was during the stonks period. Yeah, really cool. And it's got the calendar on the right hand side. Let's see more images. It looks like he his one actually works for both landscape and portrait which is actually really cool if you wanted to maybe take the tablet out and use it in a different position and then you've got that there oh that's a nice pop-up for the the media like how everything goes transparent behind it oh it looks like you can also tell it where to play music so i guess on his tv or ps4 or like his sound system that's really cool and then he's got his weather stuff. So yeah, I really like this one. The colors are a lot brighter than I would usually do. Um, very much, I love dark mode, but I would definitely have this. I really like this. So yeah, great job. This is by Daniel. Great job, Daniel. In terms of which is my favorite, this is definitely up there for me in terms of design, like how clean all of the icons are and how everything's laid out. It's just super clean. But I also really like that this one this one is so cool as well so now i'm torn but then i also really want this one because of the minimalist and then that would sort of tie in with all our mobile stuff so i don't know yeah it would all match it would be like a seamless experience no matter which device you're using it on so i think maybe we'll have to do like a follow-up like another how we did the tour of my mobile dashboard. Maybe we'll do a tour of my tablet dashboard once we kind of implement it and uh, make it look good. So stay tuned and we'll find out which one we actually go for. Yeah, actually let me know in the comments, which one would you go for? Which one was your favorite out of all of these ones? And which one would you actually like to see me attempt to implement? If it's within my skill set, of course, we need to be able to <laughs> do it. Some of these are nuts. Like this one is, looks like it's way out of my skill set, but who knows, maybe we'll give it a go. So yeah, let me know down in the comments which one you would choose and which one was your favorite dashboard. So that's some of my favorite tablet dashboards I found all by myself on the internet. On Reddit, on Home Assistant Forum, on GitHub. So go ahead and check some of them out and let me know which are your favorite dashboards down in the comments. Which one was your favorite that we looked at and which one should I try and implement in my Home Assistant. If you like this merch, this is by Bearded Tinker. If you want to pick some up, I'll leave it in a link down in the description. Really cool. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you're interested. But other than that, I hope you did, in fact, enjoy this video. 
please make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video. It's so weird how there's like a really bright light and then I just hear a really dark <laughs> face in the background. It's <laughs>